Good evening, a charity chief has said it is devastating that a Northern Ireland Health Trust was unable to accept kidneys for life-saving transplant operations due to COVID pressures on hospitals. The Belfast Trust said it was offered a number of healthy kidneys from deceased donors at the weekend, but had to turn them down because staff had been redeployed to help care for COVID patients. The Trust stressed that no patients had been set up with dates for transplant operations. It comes as hospitals in Northern Ireland continue to struggle to deal with rising COVID pressures. There are currently 224 COVID positive patients in hospital, of whom 37 are in intensive care. Another news. Love Island's Lucinda Strafford and Aaron Francis endured an awkward reunion on ITV show Lorraine today as she confirmed her new romance with co-star Brad McLellellland. The dumped pair came face to face after being invited onto Lorraine to discuss the hit reality show following Cassie Emma's dramatic recoupling. And finally, sport. Keely Hodgkinson has broken Kelly Holmes' long-standing national record to win the Olympic silver medal in the women's 800 meters race. The 19-year-old finished behind the USA's Adam Mew, finishing in 1 minute 55.88 seconds to beat Holmes' record set in 1995. Hodgkinson's blistering pace makes her the eighth fastest woman over 800 M of all time, and she's also claimed Team GB's first medal on the track at the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Hodgkinson is not on fronting, but knows her heroics in Japan will thrust her into the big time. I'm ready, that's what I've dreamed of. I want to do this. I want to be one of the best in the world. I'm going to do everything I can to be that, said Hodgkinson, after winning Team GB's first athletics medal of the games. And weather will come in up, here Lee.